Well, welcome back, boys and girls. This is Grade 4, Chapter 3, Lesson 3.2. I can use strategies to estimate products. Hopefully, in Lesson 3.1, you tried lots of different strategies, felt comfortable with some, decided some were not what you wanted, and you moved on. And that's exactly what we're, go what we're going to do here. We're going to take a look at some strategies, and I'm going to have you um, try some and see how they feel, get comfortable with some, and we're going to move on. So let's go ahead and try our first one. I'm going to give you a word problem, and let's see if we can use an old friend, rounding and mental math. Okay, here's my word problem, and I bet you can relate to this. On average, the Smith family opens the door of their refrigerator 32 times each day. There are 31 days in May. About how many times is the refrigerator door opened in May? Hmm, let's go back in and take a look at some of the important words in this word problem. Oh, good job. About how many times? What is that going to tell you? Well, you're right. We're going to use an estimating strategy here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about what it is that we're going to do to estimate. So we need to estimate... And we're also going to use, well, we're going to use what we know about estimating. So I think what we should do is use our old friend rounding. And then we're going to also use some mental math. Okay? So let's get started. I'm going to start by writing estimate 31 times 32. Now we're going to round each factor. Now I know that if I'm rounding to the tens place here, and I look at the number just to the right, that number 1 tells me I should leave 3 as 3, and the 1 rounds to a 0. That's right. 4 and below. Let it go. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at 32. I'm at around 32. Yes. 3. Look at that bossy number 2. I'm going to round the 3. It's going to stay the same, and that 2 is going to roll right to 0. Step 2 is I'm going to use mental math. Now this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hmm, 3 times 3 equals 9, right? That's a basic math fact. So I know that 30 times 30 must be 9. Hmm. 9. Oh, look, there's a 0 here and a 0 here. So 30 times 30 is 900. That's exactly right. So let me ask you this. How many times did the Smith family open the refrigerator door during the month of May about how many times? I would say the Smith family so they so the Smith family opens the refrigerator door whoops about 900 times during that month of May. Now remember, you also, because you're working with a word problem, boys and girls, you've got to make sure that you answer using a statement. Answer the question. Everybody with me? Let's move on. I was pretty sure you had this one. Let's go try another one. This time we're going to use mental math and we're going to use something called compatible numbers. Let's take a look. All right, in this one, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and read the, read the word problem and then we're going to use something called compatible numbers. All 24 light bulbs in the Parks family home are CFL light bulbs. Each CFL light bulb uses 28 watts to produce light. About how many watts will the light bulbs use when turned on all at the same time? Now let me go back to that compatible numbers for a minute. When we talk about compatible numbers, these are numbers that are easy for me to compute mentally. And that's an important concept because you have to be comfortable with the numbers that you choose. So let's go back and take a look at the question that is being asked. All right. Once again, about how many tells me that we are doing what? 
You're right, we're estimating. And what are the numbers that we're going to use? Well, let's see. We've got all 24 light bulbs in the house, and they use 28 watt bulbs to produce the light. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and estimate. Whoops, not scribble, but estimate. Hold on. So we're going to estimate 24 times 28. Now here's where the trick comes in. For me, I'm going to say a number that might be easy for me to multiply, that would be compatible for me, I'm going to make 24, 25. And then I'm going to change, take 28, and I'm going to make 28, 30. So I'm thinking of numbers that would be easy for me to multiply. So I'm going to think 25 times 3. 25 times 3. Well, I happen to know that that's 75. And then I have this 0 here. So 25 times 30 is 750. My step 2 in mental math would be to say 25 times 30 equals 750. So using compatible numbers as a way to estimate, I'm going to say about 750 watts are used. when all the lights are turned on at the same time. Once again, let me go back. For me to multiply 25 instead of 24 and 30 instead of 28, remember, this is an estimate. My number has to be about. So it would be about 750 watts. I'm going to ask you to try that again. So let me give you a problem. All right, here's your question. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to use compatible numbers to estimate 26 times 79. All right, so the first thing I'm going to think of is 26. What's a number close to 26 that would be easy for me to multiply? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, once again, there's that 25. I know my, I know my, it's not that I know my 25 times tables, but I'm thinking in terms of when I think of 25, I think of a quarter. I think I can multiply. I think I know quarters. And I'm going to go ahead and take that $79 and say that's really close to 80. 80 would be a really easy number for me to multiply. So let's see. 25 times 8. Hmm. I know that 25 times 8. Four, oh, I'm sorry. 25 times 4 equals 100. So 25 times 8 would equal 200. So I'm thinking this. With that thought process, I know that 25 times 8 must be 200. And then I have this zero here, so I'm going to put another zero right there. So 26 times 79 is about what, boys and girls? It's about $2,000. Whoops, one too many S's there. So 26 times 79 is about... Can't write tonight. Two thousand dollars. Okay, twenty-five was was easy for me. Was it easy for you? Let's take a look. I'm going to ask you to take the same estimate, twenty-six times seventy-nine, and round it to the nearest ten. Let's see how what that would look like.
Well, if you used rounding and said 26 would become 30 and 79 would become 80, and then I multiply 3 times 8, which would be 24 plus this 0 and this 0, look at this. Now, by using rounding, to the highest place value, my answer is 26 times 79 is about 2400 dollars. Now, can you explain why 2400 and 2000 are both reasonable estimates? Let's keep going. I'm going to give you two practice problems tonight and a question to answer. So I'm going to ask you to estimate the product and I'm going to ask you to use both methods. One is to round to the nearest tens and the other one is to use compatible numbers. So I would like you to show both three and four using the rounding to the nearest ten method and compatible numbers. Then I'd like you to answer this question. How do you know if an estimated product will be greater than or less than the exact answer? Think about that. Take a look at what you're doing. When you come in tomorrow, you will have number three and four done in both methods that were introduced and talked about during the lesson today. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.